All right, welcome back. So we've all heard about AI, chat, GPT, and other programs that claim to make our lives easier. AI that can pick out your clothes or even help you make dinner. But how do we know? <laughs> how does it actually work? I don't know. Well, here with everything we need to know is NBC News technology correspondent Jacob Ward. Jake, good morning. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Hey, Jake, so everyday AI. Right. I mean, it's out there. What are the things that we can go to to help us in our day-to-day -day chores? Yeah, so many people are asking me these days, you know, what is it? How does it work? How will it affect my life? And I think one of the ways that you can experiment with whether or not you want to let it into your life is to experiment with just, you know, the, the easy stuff, mm -hmm. right? And so you have sites already like like, let's say, uh, letsfoodie.com, which is okay. basically a, a, an app that allows you to upload everything that's in your fridge, okay. the oh. list of everything you've got, and it says, here, boom, here's your, you know, 30 different options from the what you oh, thought wow. was a barren Ooh. cupboard, but in fact can, you know, work it all out for you. I had that idea back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> this is the thing about AI. <laughs> Lots of people are just you know, being like, oh, I should have, oh, well. So uh, another one, Pronti is another uh, one, and this is one that, that will do the same kind of thing, but with everything you wear, right? So mm. you oh. have to take the time to upload everything, pictures of everything in your closet, but awesome. then it'll say, okay, today is a good day to, you know, uh, put these two items together, mm. these four items together, and wow. here's your outfit. And it's not know, a human doing this. It's not a human doing wow. this. It's all just pattern recognition, which is the essence of AI. So these uh -huh. are the sorts of, you know, easy, quick ways that you could bring it into your life, mm -hmm. let it organize your data, your food and your clothes and see what happens. What about bedtime stories? Well, so this is another crazy thing, right? Is a few months ago, we did the story of the very first person to put it together doing that kind of thing. But, you know, here is one of these apps. This one's called bedtimestory.ai. I've got it on my phone right here. Uh -huh. You can create a story, and in it, you know, I can put in, uh, you know, young meteorologist. <laughs> That's a tough word. Right? Oh, geez, this is terrible. On live TV. <laughs> young meteorologist goes on a journey and it will just generate a story. It starts what? thinking it through and goes, okay, Four let me have one second, be right with you. Here comes the title is going to be, oh, why don't we say, oh, we'll say a meteorologist's journey, adventures of a young weatherman. Wow. And then off comes wow. all of this. Once village. upon a time in a quaint little village. Oh, Oliver. Little Oliver. Oliver, I like and that. All, and then it starts to come up with the artwork. From an early age, he had an unusual oh, fascination my. with the sky and everything wow. it held. And, you know, up will come the artwork, the plot, the rest of it. People were just playing around with this in college dorm mm -hmm. rooms, you know, computer mm -hmm. science people, but they are becoming full-fledged companies. Oh, my goodness. Now. And you said there's a website that's live like Wikipedia? There's, there's the artwork. artwork. Oh, there's the yeah, picture. That's right. That's that. right. So there's the picture now. So that's right. So, Craig, you were saying, you know, that, so there is a sort of, there's a, the higher level, if you really want to play around with, like, how this thing might guide you in the sorts of decisions you make, there are, are places like perplexity.ai. This is a, it's like a, a search engine that you're supposed to be able to converse with, you go back and forth with. And so you can ask questions like, you know, what's a specific daily workout plan for a man in his 40s? This is highly hypothetical, right? But that's me. <laughs> and bang, it'll it'll not only bang out, you know, the full workout wow. for you, it also, and I think this is an important part of this, will footnote its sources. Because most of these sites right now, the chat GPTs and the Bards and the Bings, all of these things, they don't necessarily tell you where they're finding their mm -hmm. information, but you can very quickly know, okay, this is verified stuff. Now, this won't work on current events. Uh -huh. These models take years years to be trained, and so it can't tell you where to get Taylor Swift tickets right now, mm -hmm. but it can tell you all about her musical influences, you know, yeah. or what other artists from a couple years ago you might have enjoyed that were like her. I feel like when I type things into Google and I don't find what I want right away, I kind of reword it and change it up a little bit. I mean, what's yes. the best way to... Ask this is exactly right. You have to be very, very specific with AI, mm -hmm. especially something like ChatGPT or Perplexity. And so, you know, you, you, it's really good to, you know, do something like, uh, you know, ask it, you know, treat me like a five-year-old. <laughs> and explain climate change to oh. me, right? Don't just say, what's climate change? Right. You know, make it very, very specific, because this system is entirely pattern-based. It, it doesn't, you know, again, it's important to know, right? This thing doesn't know anything about climate change. It only knows what the internet has said about climate change. Oh. So you have to narrow it down and ask it very specifically, not just, you know, how do I be mindful with my kids, mm -hmm. but what's five specific daily activities I can do to be mindful with my, oh my kids. You know, so these kinds of things help it zero in on real answers that'll be helpful to you. There are all these platforms that are gathering information about us when yes. we put... Do these platforms do the same oh, thing? Oh, yes, absolutely, <laughs> because that's the bargain, right? The reason this is free, and this is what everybody is always pointing out, and it's important to remember, right? If the thing is free, you are the product. And so in this case, oh. by putting your information into these sites, you are teaching them more and more 
sometimes about you specifically, depending on the company, sometimes just in general about humanity. We are definitely, there's a bargain going I, on here. I think you should repeat that one more time for the folks in the back. Yes. If, if it's free. If it's free, you are the product. So yes. usually, so you usually say, if it's free, it's for me. That's true. <laughs> yeah, well, Two things can be true. Greg Melvin is the product of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Jim. Wow. You're really fascinating. Thank you. Always learn something when you're around. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.